Hello there, welcome to Nanaba's Kitchen. Today I bring you a rice bowl dish which we will be pairing with pan seared salmon and some vegetables. Let's start by washing our hands. I have two cups of rice. We're going to begin by washing the rice as per usual. Our water is no longer cloudy, so we will add some water to cover the rice about half an inch. We're going to grate one clove of garlic in there. About a tablespoon of onion. Half a teaspoon of bouillon. Salt to taste. Cold pressed coconut oil, about a tablespoon. Now you must stir and make sure your water is seasoned well by tasting. Perfect. Now I'll throw in one scotch bonnet chili for flavor. We'll leave it whole. Next we have our salmon. A whole filleted salmon with the skin still on which I will leave on, beautiful piece of fish. Now, you want to feel for any bones, if you find any, pick them with a kitchen tweezer. We're going to trim the belly off, cause that's super fatty and it usually falls apart. And we're going to save this, which we will save for fish stock later. Time to season the fish. For that, we're going to need half a teaspoon of crushed black pepper, salt to taste. Same amount lemon pepper, same amount curry powder, same amount regular paprika, Dijon mustard, we're using the grainy one, half a teaspoon of that, and then same amount of the regular Dijon mustard and then the juice of half a lemon. Juice it right in. Of course, some oil, about two tablespoons. Stir together to get a paste. It smells zesty due to the lemon. The Dijon mustard is also coming through. The paprika gives it this lovely rich color. This fish is gonna be amazing in taste. All right. Now a generous amount of your marinade onto each fish, about a dollop each, and then we're going to brush it. So for best results, your fish must be at room temperature for it to be pan seared effectively. It was in the fridge before marinating, so we'll leave it right here on the kitchen counter just for about 10 minutes, and then we'll be pan searing. Next, we're going to chop up these scallions and one carrot for the rice. Now we're going to add the carrots and the scallions to the rice. First you want to fluff the rice up. The vegetables have been stirred in evenly. We're going to throw the lid back on it and leave the rice cooker on warm, just to sort of soften the vegetables a bit. We'll be serving soon. Next, we're cutting up the rest of our vegetables for our rice bowl. 
I'm gonna start with the carrots and I'm just gonna cut them in the bias. Two zucchinis and we're going to cut those as well. I also have yellow squash. We're going to cut those as well in the bias. Next we have an onion and we're going to just slice these. And I have one jalapeno, which also goes into our stir fry. I will remove the seeds and give them a rough chop. And this is a scotch bonnet chili that we added to the rice. We're going to mince that. And that is going to be part of the onion sauce that brings the whole rice bowl together. To bring our rice bowl dish together, we need a sauce. We're going to make a quick oniony sauce. It's going to be mustardy, yes, very tangy, sweet at the same time, and quite flavorful. And we're going to crush these garlic cloves right into it. A quarter teaspoon of curry powder. And time to season with salt and crushed black pepper. Be generous with the crushed black pepper and a pinch of salt or to taste. Now we're going to add mustard. Half a teaspoon of Dijon and half a teaspoon of the grainy. We need the juice of half a lemon in there as well. Just drizzle it right in there. Then you need some bouillon as well. And now let's add the chili. And for our onion sauce, we'll need some olives. These are green olives that have already been pitted. Now we're going to finish up with this fresh parsley, just roughly chopped. In the same pan, we'll stir fry our vegetables. Heat must be on high, a splash of oil. First the carrots, because they take longer to cook. A little salt. We're going to season each layer and some crushed black pepper as well. All right, the carrots look great. Now let's add the zucchini. Salt and crushed black pepper. Perfect. 
Now we're going to add our garlic cloves. We have three in there and we're going to crush it right in. And the jalapeno. And a sprinkle of parsley to finish. Let's turn the stove off. Time to cook the fish. We're going to start on medium low. And a splash of oil. Last batch of the fish is done. We're ready to serve now. All right, all of our components, our rice is also ready. So we're going to serve our rice bowl right now. First thing that gets served is the star of the whole show, the rice. We're going to mold it to make it pretty. Next is our vegetables. A healthy serving of that too. And that looks good. Full everyday ingredients makes a huge difference in your cooking. Don't overthink it, don't complicate it. Just simplify it, you know? <laughs> our beautiful, moist, and flavorful, well-seasoned salmon is next. And lastly, our onion mustard sauce. Oh, 
this thing is sweet, it's tangy, it's mustardy, it's herbaceous. The perfect unifier. Which one is calling my name? I think that one. <laughs> yes, look at this one. Yum, yum. Now let's take a look at the fish. This onion sauce, I'm telling you, you must try it. It's Senegalese inspired onion sauce. Mm. See that? Beautiful, moist, pink, not overcooked. A little bit of rice. A little onion sauce. Mm. The veggies are still nice, crunchy, and they are very, very well seasoned. And the rice, although it's moldable, and look how fluffy it is. The coconut is coming through. The vegetables really made the rice fragrant. Yes, beautiful people. So everything on this plate was made with everyday, accessible, readily accessible ingredients. Wherever you may be. And of course, you can substitute the fish with any fish you like filleted or not. And I hope you give all of these recipes a shot because they are worth giving a shot. Very tasty, working very well together harmoniously. It is chop time, so I'm gonna take a leave. I hope to see you very soon on my next one. Thanks for watching.